had chips yesterday when I was waiting for the OnlyFans collab. I was so hungry. I was like, and I saw the chips you had. And I was like, God, those look good. They didn't look good when you bought them. And then when I was like really hungry, I was like, they kind of look good. What I'm wondering about Moses is, is Trisha the type of woman that he usually has dated in the past? Or is she a completely new type of person to date? We are going to cover the relationship of Trisha and Moses. Trisha has recently become one of my favorite YouTubers just watching her videos. She is so raw. She is so real. She is never, ever, ever hiding herself. And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about individuality. But it's really interesting that these two have gotten together. Like how the hell did Trisha and Mila's brother meet? Now that they're going to be getting married, I'd love to watch the story. I don't know what I would do without you. So I'm sharing this very special moment of having Korean fried cheese with you. I don't bring anyone to just Korean fried cheese. This is like a special thing. I could see that Trish is smitten. Just the way that she's smiling at him. It seems like Moses is making her happy differently than anyone else has made her happy. With Moses, I know nothing about his personality. So far, I've really only seen him behind the camera. He takes a lot of care in the videos that he's doing with Trish. He seems a little more like the soft-spoken type of guy so far, but I'd love to see more. When we hang out, you always eat Shitty, is it because of me? Am I like a bad influence? Because <laughs> you're literally eating. <laughs> you hate it. Do you hate it? This is what you're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel good after eating something bad for you or do you feel shitty? Do you feel guilty? I have no guilt in life. <laughs> Moses reminds me of his sister. They seem to be soft-spoken, but they give these one-liners that are just hilarious out of nowhere and unexpectedly. Now compare that to Ethan and Trisha. They're constantly making you laugh. They're constantly talking. It's just a completely different personality type. Both Ethan and Ela have that similar connection where there's one that's a little more outgoing and there's one that's a little more soft-spoken and they somehow connect and it seems the same way here with Trisha and Moses. A little more outgoing, a little more soft-spoken, but they connect with each other. What is a secret you've never told anybody? That I'm gonna be in this video. <laughs> So right here, I see Trisha is trying to get Moses to open up in the video, and that's why she asked him, what's a secret you never told anybody? What Moses did is he deflected the question by making a small little joke, which is fine. He's not ready to fully open up on video. Trish has been on TV. She's been on YouTube for so many years. It's natural to her to be at one with the camera and at one with her viewers and with her subscribers, where this is probably a newer thing for Moses, seeing that he's a photographer and that he's usually on the other side of the camera showing things that he finds beautiful. Come closer. No, hey, does that look like you like me at all? Already I see Moses a little more opened up, a little more of his playful side is coming out in this video and it's probably because he's more used to being on video with Trisha. Come close like you like me. No, I don't wanna pretend. <laughs> You're so mean, oh my God, it's so mean. What a fat face. <laughs> so already in this video, they're a lot more playful with each other. It's likely because yeah, they're in a relationship now and it's out to the world, it's public. Now I know a lot about Trish, I love her personality, but I'm interested in seeing more of Moses' personality here. Put your arm around, no, around. <laughs> like when we're watching TikToks in the morning. It's our best video yet. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> sneakers on. And my hair is short. All right, guys, what's up? Today we're doing another eating show and we already- You know, what I love about Trisha is the first three minutes of this video was her doing a photo shoot for the thumbnail of the video. Who else does that? Who else is so candid in their YouTube? To me, Trisha Paytas' videos are exactly the reason that YouTube was created. You can't compare this to McDonald's. No, I know. I mean- Well- you can't compare them, but I like McDonald's better because I like the fried and the grease better. But here it's like, this is chicken. I wonder how their lifestyles are going to be now that they're living together in the same house that they bought. How Trisha tends to like fast food. It seems that Moses tends to eat things that are unprocessed. Are they going to have different dinners every night? I'm wondering how that's going to work out for them. Chicken in the box is tasty, but it doesn't feel healthy. Well, none of it's But healthy. Chick-fil-A feels somewhat healthy. It's like, you feel like it's a full chicken. Yeah. But it might not be as tasty. 
Mm -hmm. As Jack in the Box. You think mm -hmm. it's Jack in the Box tastier? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Jack in the Box is my personal favorite. There's something about people like Moses where he has this stoic vibe about him and he seems like the perfect manifestation of that phrase, still waters run deep. And what that basically means is quiet people have a lot of depth underneath them. For some people, I'm like, ah, I'm not sure if that's true. But just on the surface, looking at Moses, how he interacts, he seems to match that. It seems like despite the fact that Moses is more soft spoken, he is very confident in his body. A lot of people think that confidence has to do with being the energetic, wild, crazy person. This person that's just so in the moment, so having fun, so energetic, so engaged. And that could be true. But I also think that there's a stereotype that the quieter people are not confident. I disagree. And so if you tend to be the more interesting Introverted, soft spoken person. It has nothing to do with how energetic you are. It has everything to do with how present you are. In other words, how appreciative of the moment you are, how comfortable in your own body you are. And with Moses, it seems like he is the perfect example of a more introverted, soft spoken, but very confident, happy person. You don't eat chips? Hardly. Yeah. Much. No. I had chips yesterday when I was waiting for the OnlyFans collab. I was so hungry. I was like, and I saw the chips you had. And I was like, I was like, they didn't look good when you bought them. And then when I was like really hungry, I was like, they kind of look good. What I'm wondering about Moses is, is Trisha the type of woman that he usually has dated in the past? or is she a completely new type of person to date? Trisha is a YouTuber. She's usually in the public eye. Is Moses the type of person that gravitates towards that type of person or is this something new for him? It's very interesting. I'd, I'd love to interview both of them and ask them these types of questions because even though these videos are great for seeing into a relationship that I think otherwise people don't put out to the world something so natural where they're not trying to act for the camera. I think Trisha Paytas videos are very good at doing that. But at the same time, I'd love to really ask them those important relationship questions that I haven't heard yet and see why are they with each other? What do they love about each other? Jerusalem, where Jesus lives? I mean, I think he walked through there. He didn't live there. Really? He lived in Nazareth. Wait, why is Jerusalem so famous? I don't know that word. Thank you. Look at that. Famous. Bubbles. You know, now that I look at it, I think the exact things that I mentioned are the exact reasons why they are attracted to each other. I have a feeling Trisha likes Moses for that very strong, but quiet vibe that he puts out. And this is what I think is so important for all genders to remember. If you are the quiet person, you could still come off very confident and attractive. If that is who you are, if you're the more energetic person, the same for you. I don't want you to change yourself. I want you to rather be more into who you are embrace who you are. Those are your strengths. Let people see that because that individuality is what makes you attractive. With Moses, I think he sees in Trisha the exact opposite. He sees somebody that just can be themselves no matter what, is completely honest, expressive, free. And I think that's what he loves about Trisha.